morning. How are you? Nice to meet you. This time, I will discuss lipid metabolism part two. The topic that I will discuss is ketogenesis and ketone body oxidation. Now let's start from beta oxidation to ketone bodies. Beta oxidation in mitochondria will generate acetyl-CoA. Excess acetyl-CoA will form three four carbon compound. They are known as ketone bodies or ketogenesis. Ketone bodies are water soluble, energy yielding, and do not require lipoprotein for transport across the membrane. Let's see the picture in the right side. We have two molecules of acetyl CoA. Then this acetyl CoA will convert into acetoacetyl CoA. And this acetoacetyl CoA will be converted into acetoacetate. And this acetoacetate can be converted into acetone by releasing carbon dioxide. And this acetoacetate also can be converted into beta hydroxybutyrate by oxidizing this NADH into NAD. Plus, ketone body are a lipid molecule helping a carbonyl group attached to two R group. In a normal man, concentration of ketone bodies in blood is usually less than 0.6 millimole per liter. Through ketone, as we can see from this uh, picture, are the only acetoacetate and acetone because ketone should have this group. But let's see this beta hydroxybutyric acid. We could not see a ketone group in this molecule instead of hydroxyl group. So beta hydroxybutyric acid doesn't have ketone group, but even though it doesn't have ketone group, but it's this a ketone bodies also. Now let's see the significance of ketogenesis. Ketogenesis is alternative assault to glucose for energy need. Ketone body will be oxidized in a low glucose condition. And ketogenesis prod produce of ketone body under condition of cellular energy Deprivation only produced when excessive fatty acids are oxidized and glucose availability is limited, such as this is related to uh, several pathophysiological condition. And the last utilization of ketone body by the brain. Brain normal use of glucose for energy need and can be adapted to oxidize ketone body during prolonged fasting and uh, starvation. Ketogenesis is conversion of long chain fatty acid to ketone bodies. And this ketogenesis occurs primarily in mitochondria of liver cell. A primary use of uh, this ketogenesis is providing a universally accepted fuel for energy production. This is an adaptive response 
in starvation. For example, our brain oxidizes a ketone body, but not a fat. Now let's have a look at the following table. This energy metabolism in major vertebrate organ. This organ, energy reservoir, uh, preference uh, substrate, and energy source exported. Let's see this brain. Prepare substrate, are glucose, ketone body during a starvation, and for a skeletal muscle, during exercise, prepare a substrate for this one is glucose from glycogen and energy source exported is lactate. Heart muscle, energy reservoir is a glycogen and prepare a substrate for this one is a fatty acid and liver, energy reservoir is a glycogen and triacylglycerol and prepare substrate for this one is amino acid, glucose, and fatty acid. And energy source exported is a fatty acid, a glucose, and ketone bodies. Now let's see the pathway of ketogenesis. In discussing ketogenesis, there should Two molecules of acetyl CoA will form acetoacetyl CoA. This reaction is catalyzed by uh, theolase, uh, this one, the enzyme involved in the final step of beta oxidation. Acetoacetyl CoA will be combined with acetyl CoA to produce beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl CoA. We call this one as HMG CoA. And this reaction is catalyzed by HMG-CoA synthase, this one. Then let's see this pathway. There are two molecules of acetyl-CoA will combine to produce acetoacetyl-CoA. Then this acetoacetyl-CoA will convert into beta-hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coa now let's move to ketone body formation as i have already mentioned the ketone body consists of acetoacetate beta hydroxy butera and acetone in acetoacetate this enzyme will clip HMG CoA to produce acetoacetate and acetyl CoA. Beta hydroxybutyrate acetoacetate can be reduced by dehydrogenase to form beta hydroxybutyrate. And for acetone, acetoacetate can undergo spontaneous de decarboxylation to form aceto. I mean to form acetone. Let's see this pathway. We have this one, beta hydroxybutyra. Then this one will be converted into acetoacetate. This acetoacetate will be converted into beta hydroxybutyra. And it can also convert into acetone by reducing carbon dioxide. This step is non-enzymatic decarboxylation. Now let's see the rule of uh, glucagon. This glucagon has ketogenic, 
ketogenic activity and will activate the fatty acid oxidation process at the response of triglyceride synthesis. Insulin deficiency disease such as diabetes will produce excess of this uh, glucagon. Glucagon for insulin high ratio will increase lipolysis and activate the oxidation and I mean the activate the oxidative ketogenesis. Let's see this one. This is glucagon and this is fatty acid. This fatty acid will convert into ketone body. Now let's move to the rule of insulin. Insulin is known to affect ketogenesis. Presence of insulin will block lipolysis process, the source of a free fatty acid delivery to the liver. This is the substrate for ketogenesis, this one. And insulin will increase the production of malonyl-CoA and inhibit the carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1. This is the key enzyme in fatty acid entrance to mitochondria. Let's see this diagram. I'll call this uh, diagram instead of a uh, pathway. This is insulin deficiency, glucose uptake will increase probably, but for this lipolysis, it will be blocked. If this is blocked, then will cut the production of this free fatty acid. And this pre fatty acid is a starting material for a ketogenesis. And in ketogenesis, somehow it can be a core acidosis. Now let's see the ketosis and ketoacidosis. Ketosis is a disorder of excessive production of ketone body due to physiological conditions such as starvation or uncontrolled diabetes. Important features of ketosis are ketonemia, ketonuria, acetone odor of red. Ketonemia is ketone body plasma concentration is above normal limit. Ketonurea is a ketone body concentration significantly increase and appear in urine and acetone in blood is excretion of acetone by the lung and produce a characteristic odor in bread. Let's see this uh, ketone urine test strip. We can use this test uh, strip to measure our uh, ketone body concentration we have this one negative plus one i mean start one two start three and four from none to more ketone body now let's see uh, ketosis and ketoacidosis again in ketoacidosis, the body starts breaking down fat at a rate that much too fast. The kidney exercises are a ketone body. I mean, the kidney excrete extra. The kidney excrete extra ketone body with the water result in fluid loss. And ketoacidosis is a life-threatening condition due to blood acidification. Ketone body oxidation or ketolysis. Acetoacetate and beta-hydroxybutyrate 
serve as an important source of energy for peripheral tissue. Acetone cannot be metabolized in this case. Tissue such, I mean, tissue which lack mitochondria such as erythrocyte cannot utilize a ketone body. Ketone body can meet a 50 to 70% of the brain energy need. Let's see the picture uh, in the right side. This is the organ. This heart, brain, and this uh, kidney. This is the brain. From this uh, picture, we can determine there is uh, a molecule here. Then this uh, molecule will be converted into acetyl CoA and this acetyl CoA will enter Krebs cycle to produce energy that need by this brain. Now let's move to ketone body export from the liver. Export of ketone body from the liver to extrahepatic tissue or low continue oxidation of fatty acid in the liver. Liver cannot use ketone body for energy because it's like the beta ketoacetyl CoA transferase enzyme. Let's see this one. Uh, this is a ketone body. Acetoacetate, beta hydroxybutyrate, and acetone. And this ketone body export as energy source for heart, a skeletal matter, kidney, and brain. Then have a look this one. This fatty acid will convert into acetyl CoA by beta oxidation, and this acetyl CoA will enter Krebs cycle. And this uh, Krebs cycle, I mean the product of this Krebs cycle, can be converted into glucose by gluconeogenesis. And this glucose export as well for tissue such as a brain. Now let's move to pathway of ketolysis. The major pathway of ketolysis in the transacylase pathway. The first one formation of acetoacetate from beta hydroxybutyra. Beta hydroxybutyra is compared into acetoacetate using beta hydroxybutyra dehydrogenase. And the second one is formation of acetoacetyl CoA. Acetoacetate is activated to form acetoacetyl CoA by the transfer of CoA from succinyl CoA. And the last is formation of acetyl CoA. Acetoacetyl CoA is cleaved to form acetyl CoA. Let's see this a pathway. Let's see from the upper side. This is beta hydroxybutyra, and this beta hydroxybutyra will be uh, converted into acetoacetate by reduction of this NAD plus into NAD8. Then this acetoacetate will uh, convert into acetyl CoA. And this aceto acetyl CoA will be converted into two molecules of acetyl CoA by catalyzing with thiolase. And this aceto acetyl CoA will enter the Krebs cycle. And in this uh, pathway, we can see that succinyl CoA will be converted into a succina. Then let's see what happened with ketone bodies in a diabetes. 
a free fatty acid in ketone body are elevated and ketogenesis is activated to provide energy source a substitute. Ketolysis is dismissed. A diabetic ketoacidosis is one of the complications of diabetes. Let's see the cycle uh, here. We start from step one. This is according to pancreas. Without insulin, glucose is unable to be processed by our body. And in the second step, the liver produce more glucose to feed the body. But without insulin, the glucose accumulate in the bloodstream. And again, we continue to step three. Step four, this is ketone and glucose are transfer into the urine and this kidney use water to clear the blood from glucose and ketone. Uh, so this kidney is a clearing process. Then the last is in the uh, bladder. This is the ketone body in a uh, diabetes. Then let's move to ketone body in obesity. In obesity, free fatty acid and ketone body level are elevated. Ketone body clearance is are diminished and metabolic ketoacidosis is also in high risk. Increase of ketone body serum level is related to osteoporosis occurrence. Let's see this uh, pathway. Uh, probably we, call, we can call this a pathway. This is high fat deed and this deed will increase serum ketone body. Then this serum uh, ketone body will be used for fatty acid synthesis and malonate uh, pathway also. And this fatty acid synthesis and malonate uh, pathway product can be affected this bone loss. I think that's for, for this memo. Thank you so much for your attention. See you then in the next session. Thank you. Stay safe and good luck. Bye. Thank you.